I learned the power that the Book of Mormon has in people's lives, and so I took every opportunity I could to uh, motivate them to take a Book of Mormon and start to read it. But there was one experience that I that I've had that when with the missionaries we went to talk to a lady who's was investigating the church, but her boyfriend said that the church was um, of the devil and Satanist, and so she should not uh, participate in learning anymore. So I opened the Book of Mormon and read a scripture to her that I think is is excellent to let anyone know the Book of Mormon is really a testament of Jesus Christ and does not take place of the Bible but supports it. This is in what is called Mosiah chapter 3, verse 5. For behold, the time cometh and is not far distant, that with power the Lord omnipotent, who reigneth and is from all eternity to all eternity, shall come down from heaven among the children of men, and shall dwell in a tabernacle of clay, and shall go forth amongst men, working mighty miracles, such as healing the sick, raising the dead, causing the lame to walk, the blind to receive their sight, and the deaf to hear, and curing all manner of diseases. And he shall cast out devils, or the evil spirits which dwell in the hearts of the children of men. And he shall suffer temptations, and pain of body, hunger, thirst, and fatigue, even more than man can suffer. For behold, blood cometh from every poor, so great shall be his anguish for the wickedness and the abominations of his people. And he shall be called Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And that testimony in the Book of Mormon is a testimony that the Book of Mormon is a powerful testimony of Jesus Christ as our Savior, as the Son of God. And as we presented it to that uh, sister, uh, we asked the question, does that sound like the Book of Mormon is of the devil. And of course her answer was no. And it is my testimony that the Book of Mormon is a testament of Jesus Christ and his role as Savior and Redeemer. And uh, his atonement paid for our sins. And we need to emulate him to make it uh, effective in our lives. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.